hello guys and welcome back to the channel um this is gonna be a quick one i want to quickly show you how to set up a dynamic tab using the bricks nestable tab what you're seeing here is a tab that pulls in information from product so the first tab has the product title and in here you have the information and the add to cart button and so on and so forth so we have three tabs here i'm going to show you how to do that in bricks using uh, the bricks nestable slider with the bricks query loop now let's go into bricks and start i'm going to start by adding a section that comes with a container and then I'm going to add the Bricks Nestable tab. So uh, that is the Nestable tab. So what I want to do is to look at the tab menu and the tab container. The menu is the tab here and the content here is the content. So let's open it up. Now, uh, by default, they have two tabs. OK, so the title one and title two. Now, what I want to do is to repeat the element that are being repeated. OK, that is that's where I'm going to apply the loop. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete this because I want to use this and this for the loop. So the first one is the tab. I'm going to query loop and then I want to query post and post type of product. And then I want to limit it to three. So it gives me uh, three products. Of course, you can do as many products as you want. Just have to manage your tabs. And then I'm going to go here and then I'm going to do the same thing. And post and then product. I'm going to limit it to three. Okay. So you have to make sure you have the same number of posts per page. And then for this one, I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to go there. And here I want to add um, the product title. And then for this, um, that's just it. And then for this one, now uh, we want to add the product image and the product just like this, the product image and the product name and the price and the, and the short description and add to cart button. So uh, what I want to do is now, uh, because of the way this behaves, uh, we are going to add an inner, you know, wrap for this pane. Now, the reason we are adding, sorry, that is, I did insert block. So I'm going to insert block there and I'm going to move this inside the block. Now the reason, okay, let's leave that outside for now. The reason I'm adding this block is uh, because we want to apply a, a layout property, a display property, like the flex box to this, so we can use to align or, you know, place this item side by side. And if we apply that to the pane, it's going to break the tab because it's going to override the display property of the tab. So instead of doing that on the tab, we put an inner wrap and then in that inner wrap, we're going to put two. Okay. So let me just come here and insert two columns and then I'm going to move this to this column and that, uh, let, let that go here. Uh, perhaps I don't even need that anyway. So this is going to hold our image. So I'm just going to drop in an image and then it's a dynamic data that we need. So I'm just going to insert featured image and that is going to pull in the image of the phone. And here we need, uh, the product title and we need the price and the description. So I'm just going to add like product title and then I'm going to add price, product price. Then I'm going to add short description. Okay. Now, uh, adding product short description, they just brings in a whole lot of, uh, text here, but if you want to limit it, you will use a text. So you just say, uh, I'm going to put a basic text and in that basic text, I'm going to put in my product description. So you're going to see product short description and using this is going to limit, um, you know, the, the, the text of the product description. So that is a way to limit it. And then I'm going to go here and row gap. I just want to give it maybe two rem. Now let me go up to the block and I want to set the block to, you know, to stretch the child element. And then for this, I want to bring this to the middle. So that is our size. And um, we could always do something to that font size, maybe give it a font rem size of 2.4 rem. And then I'm going to add the add to cart button and here, of course, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, give it a, a small styling. So I want the background to be black and I want to have 32 pixel left and right and the typography I want it to be a bright color so that's just it and then uh that's basically uh all for there that I want to do I mean you could go ahead and do the styling the basic thing is to show you how this works for the dynamic tab the nestable uh, I'm gonna go to the nestable uh, tab and then I'm gonna go to the title and the active background uh, for my normal background I want to give it just a nice uh, uh, faded color like that and then for my active background Yep. For my active background, I want it to be uh, white. I'm just going to go ahead and give this section a background of off white. And so we can accentuate the tab. And then I'm going to give the container a background of white. So that is a dynamic tab. So I'm just going to uh, preview. And then you see, 
So we have the dynamic tab. Of course, if you want to go ahead and uh, style this so this can stretch, you could do that. So let's see how we can do that. Now we have this and we have this. And then I'm going to select this. And uh, now I want a situation where all these buttons are going to stretch all the way. So this is what controls this. Um, I'm not quite sure why the flex properties are not defined. Um, so let's leave that and let's go here. And I'm going to go to the custom CSS. And then I'm going to say uh, root. And then I'm going to say flex grow one. So that grows to fill this up. So you will save that. And then, yeah, so we have that. So that is it, guys, on how to set up a dynamic uh, tab using the Bricks Nestable Slider and the Bricks Query Loop. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up, share this video with others, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.